Hey guys, this is Rez and welcome back to the Fable Anniversary Let's Play. So there's been some development since the last episode, I've done some uh, gold farming off screen. And uh, in fact, let me show you uh, how we do that since I'm in Bowstow North. What I did was, talk to this guy here, I uh, bought all the diamonds for cheap, and then I resold all of them at a profit. And as you can see, I did that for a little bit, and I got quite a bit of gold. You can see there in the bottom left corner, I've got 258,000 gold. Um, but I did have a bit more beforehand. Uh, as you can see, I've got an entirely new set of uh, armor. This is the complete Aeon set, which is the best armor in the entire game, um, introduced through uh, one of the Fable Anniversary DLC. So uh, I won't be needing to buy any more armor. Um, and since we have the second best sword and the second best bow and arrow, I am pretty much set, um, apart from maxing out my uh, skills, of course. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I've also gotten... No. Quite a fair bit of uh, health potions and will potions, since um, apparently I've been needing quite a bit of will potions and have been running out of them. Uh, what else have I done? That's pretty much it. Um, I have upgraded some skills. I've maxed out my uh, Guile, for example. Um, so yeah, we are pretty much sorted for the rest of the run. Uh, but before we go do the uh, main quest line, where we have to rescue the archaeologist, I want to go to Knothole Glade, because there's a couple things I want to do there. Um... Unfortunately, I wasn't recording whilst I was doing this gold farming. The um, Heroes, uh, not the Heroes Guild, the uh, Guildmaster mentioned uh, two things. Firstly, there is now uh, an archery competition here um, where we can score uh, high points in order to get rewards here. But um, I don't really like to do this because it's a big waste of time and if you just want to get the top reward, all you really can do is an evil character to just kill the guy from afar, so that's what I'm going to do. Also, since we've killed Twin Blades, some bandits uh, want to get revenge against us, and now a hint throughout the world there will be um, assassins coming to hunt us, and I believe there is one in Knothold Glade up this path here. Yeah, if I can actually run up here. No? Maybe I have to come back later to activate him. That's fine. So what I'm going to do, and just to get the uh, top prize from this dude here, is go far away so I can't get caught, and just kill him. Oh. Oh dear. No, thank you. Not today. Ow. Silver Arrow Trophy. Oh, and a Treasure Clue. I forgot about that. So I think we only need about three more of those. Um, oh dear, and these guys want my blood and I can't talk to them to pay off my bounty. Well, that's fine. I'll leave, come back, and then pay my bounty because I want to make use of the uh, merchants here. Because uh, the Demon Door by the uh, Bandit Coast by Oakvale. Um, in order to open it, we need a set of uh, bright plate armor, the entire set. Um, dark will users robes, which we have the entire set because we picked that up behind a Darkwood Demon Door, and the entire bandit set, which we picked up. Um... Okay then, which uh, we picked up during the uh, Bandit Coast quest. Um, now, unfortunately, we can uh, pick up some of the Bright Plate items uh, here. Oh, there's the Assassin there on the mini-map. We can pick up some of the Bright Plate sets whilst we're in Knothole Glade, but unfortunately some of it doesn't spawn in um, set shops. So we will have to wander around Knothole Glade a bit to find them. So what I'm going to do here is after I purchase what I can um, in Knothold Glade, all of me. Okay, then I could probably just sell that considering I already have another one of those. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to buy what I can here. 
and I'm just gonna wander through not not hold, not bleh, let me try that again not not hold a glade but uh, Witchwood and then uh, if I can't find the entire set I'll continue with the main quest but if I can then I'll go to the um, bandit coast and open up that demon door no I don't want to sell anything today no I don't want to buy anything so there's bright pl uh, no that's just regular plate Do you have any uh, bright plate here? No. Here's bright plate leggings. Bright, bright plate boots. Uh, bright plate doesn't have a helmet for the set, so that's convenient, but we do need to find the chest piece and the gloves um, from traveling merchants. And while we're here, I might as well just purchase the house, because uh, why not? It's not like I'm hurting for money. And upgrade the hell out of it, because why not? Hang on. Say so I want to live in it so I can actually access the place. How many trophy plaques do we have here? Two. So because uh, we're in Witchwood, I might as well put the Witchwood trophies up here. The White Bolverine head and... I guess the champion seal from the arena. Why not fit it out with some appropriate stuff and rent it out? Okay, so let's wander through Witchwood for a little bit. See if we can find some wandering traders. Ah, oh, sort of. Hopefully we can get the bright plate, uh, the rest of the bright plate set, and then open up that demon door. And I do believe there is a quest at the bandit camp we can do as well. So it'd be good to hit two birds with one stone. If not, I'll just go to the bandit camp and do that quest. And then we can continue with the uh, main quest line. Uh, a few wandering traders here. Hopefully a couple of these blokes have what we need. Don't run away from me. Which one do I want to talk to? You. I'm pleased to serve you. Tattooist. No, thank you, Mr. Troll. Don't want any today. No, come back here. Come back. I, I wish to provide you with custom. Oh, he sells stuff. Okay. No bright plate. Eh, no bright plate. You're useless. Ow. What about you? No. Whoops. Damn, that's annoying. And I do believe this is the only place we trade a spawn of Witchwood, so let's go to the um, Twin Blades camp and do this quest here. I think that's all we really can do before we do the uh, main quest. Uh, of course, we can do the temples of good and evil, but um, even now that I have money, but uh, I might save that for later. Oh. Yeah, I might do that in this episode, actually. No, thank you, I'm good. Yeah, I might as well do this this episode and just cut out the uh, fail at failed attempts, I guess. And I do believe the guy we have to talk to is just in the tent. Otherwise, I'm running up here for no reason. Oh, no, here he is. You haven't seen a group of guards around here, have you? Big, hairy fellows led by a real nasty piece of work. Yeah, I bumped into them in Oakvale. Why do you ask? That bastard's been hunting me down for days. Can you believe it? My own brother wanted to kill me. He's your brother, he said you killed his brother. I know we haven't always got on. I mean, he joined the bloody guards and I, well, I went a different way. Yeah. But we're still brothers. We're not even that different. He's killed his fair share of people too, you know. That lying bastard. I know what he's thinking. 
Mother's ill again, and he's never been able to convince her to write me out of her will. Besides, who's going to question a guard who brings down an assassin? You know, you've got a point there. You haven't seen a gun. All his waiting's got me on edge. You haven't seen a gun. You know what? I think I might deal with that brother of yours. If we talk to this guy before we talk to the guard, he would give us the choice to kill the um, guard. But um, hopefully if we just outright kill the guard without him telling us we can, it should still leave things to be okay. So I'm going to save here just in case. Then I'm going to go kill this guard and his buddies. Maybe pick up some gold from the house here? I didn't see the money counter pop up. No, I guess I haven't been away enough. Is that gold? No, it's a flower. Okay. Let's go kill this guy. No. You idiot! Don't hit me! Hit the assassin. Now get going. Nah. Do I look like an assassin to you? You idiot. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? I guess I can't kill him. Can I kill his buddies? Hey, don't it. I'm, hey, I'm not. Can I seriously not? Well, that's annoying. I guess I have to kill the guy at the, um, bandit camp. That's really annoying, because th that's forced me into a good choice, and I didn't even realize... Didn't even know this quest existed. That's really freaking annoying. You haven't seen it, Hey! Put that weapon away, will you? Oh, hello. I'm a bit jumpy at the moment. You could get yourself hurt. Can't be too careful these days. So he sent you, did he? I should have known that coward wouldn't have the guts to kill me himself. So, how much is he, um, you know, paying you? Uh, I can't quite remember. One thousand gold. Hmm. Now what would you say if I doubled that, and you get rid of my brother instead? With him gone, the inheritance will be all mine. Yes. I tell you what, the 2,000 gold is yours now, if you accept. Uh, sure. Marvellous. Well, I guess this is yours then. Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers, mate. Okay, I guess I just had to do that little interaction before I could kill the guard. That's, uh, that's my bad. I've never encountered this quest before. It certainly doesn't exist in the original Fable, and I guess it doesn't exist in the... Uh, for... Oh, it could exist in... Uh... Yeah, sure. I guess it could exist in the Lost Chapters, but I never accounted it in there either. Well, then again, I never did get far in favor of the Lost Chapters. I've only ever done a few good runs of the original Fable. I've never done Fable of the Lost Chapters to the point of reaching the uh, new content. Okay. You think he got in, boss? <laughs> Not a chance. My brother's been a dagger in my backside since we were kids. I won't be rid of him that easy. You were always my mother's favourite, too. Oh, I'm sure he's a very nice assassin, Toby. You could learn a lot from him, you could. Huh? Still, it's not nice, is it? Wanting your brother dead. Who the hell asked you? I'd rip his throat out with my own hands if I had a chance. Right, boss? He's brought nothing but disgrace in my family. I'll be damned if I'm letting him get an ounce of that inheritance. Well, well, look who's come back alive. Hello. Oh, that's cool. You can see the continent of Aurora. Down there. I think that's Aurora, the continent from Fable 3. No, yes. So, he's paid you more to kill us. I should have known. He was always a sneaky little rat. I guess this means we get to kill a hero. Ha! 
I'd like to see you try. Too easy. Alright, now let's go back to the tent and see if the dude's still there. Try to get your combat multiplier even higher. No, he's buggered off. Okay. So I think that's all we can do here. Um, let me check out my quests. Rescue the archaeologist, yes, book collection. How many books do we have? Because I need, I think we need about 20 in order to do that quest. We've got 36. I might do that quest all in one go before one of the boss battles near the end of the game. Quests. What else is there? Fishing competition. We've already done that. Still doing that. Chapel of Scorm. Sword in the Stone, can't quite do that because I haven't maxed out my strength yet. Collect the hero dolls, that requires the gambling. And I haven't done all the, I haven't found all the pubs yet, so leave that off. Assassin attacks. I believe there's a couple more of those. I know where one is, but it's during the archaeologist quest, so again, hold off onto that. I guess we're going to do Chapel of Scorm and the Temple of Avo. 